We've been to Ghana, West Africa, Cuba, and many places around the, uh, the Northeast and uh, the Southeast. And we're anticipating a, uh, a wonderful experience that would include um, dual citizenship and land acquisition in East Africa this coming fall here. So, Hotep, and thank you very much. And then Malik, please. I'm Malik Means from Brooklyn, New York, um, owner-operator, AW Scholastic, and native of .com. And Mr. Kelly, please. Kelly Little, uh, founder, CEO of the Urban Institute for Strengthening Families, working with black and brown boys, geographically located with my brother here, brother Reggie Singleton, in Charlotte, North Carolina, changing the narrative by unmuting the voices of our black and brown boys and our black men. Um, I'm not going to go into all of it, but 2021 is the year that we move into our rightful places. That's right. Here to shine. Here to shine. And Robert, please. Uh, yes, my name is uh, Robert McSee. I'm out of uh, here in uh, North Dakota. Uh, I work uh, through, I'm a natural healer. I work through the Divine uh, Healing Ministry. Uh, we do uh, a lot of uh, healing all over the world, actually, uh, working with, um, you know, people that have uh, psychosis problems, physical problems, cancer, uh, uh, things that uh, doctors can't, don't know, don't know what to do with. Uh, we, we work with them and um, we, we work from through the divine, through our, like our ancestors did. So we're going, we're going back to the original source of, of how our ancestors did it. Uh, and uh, nobody else can figure it out, uh, how we do it. Uh, you know, uh, you know, through this COVID thing, just through this COVID thing, um, uh, nobody understands why we're not catching COVID and everybody else is, you know what I'm saying? And that's just a belief thing and, and how you think, you know what I'm saying? So uh, just a little bit what, about myself. Thank you, Robert. And Charlemagne, please. Hey, what's going on, fellas? And um, people out there in uh, Facebook, YouTube land, Charlemagne McCarter, the real Charlemagne, uh, new, new friend on radio host, The Brick City, uh, co author of the uh, best selling book, uh, When Men Lean In. Um, I'm in the community helping out small businesses, um, also trying to get involved with these other brothers from Charlotte, North Carolina here. You know, trying to collaborate with them. Um, Kelly and I definitely had a lot of conversations about trying what we, what I could do, and what we could do to to help better our communities. Dr. Dwyer, hey, that's my mentor. That's all I can say about that. I just leave it at that. So, so, <laughs> so shape, brother. You, you know, we know. Let's just talk about what happened on the six at the Capitol. What are your thoughts? What was it like as you were watching it, being an ex-military guy? And I mean, what, like Kelly military, Charlemagne military, it had to have drove us, it was driving me crazy. It was like, I, I was like, first, I was shocked. I was shocked. I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually glad it happened. That's, mm -hmm. That is my take on it. I am very glad it happened because we were calling for this. We knew this type of stuff is go was, was coming. It was heated up to happen. And, and here it is. So what are your thoughts? I'll start off. <laughs> um, from a military standpoint, but I was, I'm, I'm just be real with you guys. I was pissed. I was pissed. Um, you know, I lost people across the pond. You know, I, I, I know people that's coping with so many different things because of the military. Um, then I have a daughter in the military. Kurt, and I'm like, we fought our, our whole pledge to fight for democracy, 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 you know, and that's what the oath we took when we signed up for this thing. And the Capitol, you know, like I said, the White House is important. The Capitol is the brains of our country. And all the military guys, when you try to take and take out the enemy, the first thing you do is take out the brain. You take out the operation. And like I said, it was hurtful, man. I just, like I said, I, I stayed in the house that day. I ain't want to go nowhere. I ain't want to be bothered. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, I just felt so betrayed. And I felt, I questioned my, my service. I, honestly, I questioned my service. Like, why, why did I do this? 
why is my why is my child doing this? Why do I have family members doing this? You know, and so um, that's that was my stand, man. And like I said, and and I'm I'm kind of in agreement with you, Doctor Doctor Dwyer. Um, I'm kind of glad it happened because it, 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 and I made a post about that. I was like, if you can't see the division today and understand how we're treated versus how you're treated, you just don't want to see it at all. Right, because it, it to, you know, to me, it, it's so it was so it was so, it was so blatant. And the capital, and you're right when it comes to the capital. And here's and my thought was because I, on my take of it, the military, I didn't question myself being in the military. Right, what I said was this is why I fought for what I did. So this allows you to do this because if we was not a democratic society, this would have been no way you could have done it, right? Because you would have been mowed down. So having the whether with morality issues are different. But the right to even have a thought to do it, that's democracy at its best. I mean, we have good times in democracy and we have bad times in democracy, but it's still democracy. <laughs> My response was delayed, right? So I was in the office grinding, getting texts about what was going on. And so before I could even really, I was like, man, they was like, are you watching this? And I'm not watching. I'm literally in the office grinding. Um, get home, go through a little. Matter of fact, it, it's crazy because Wednesday the sixth, I turned fifty years old too. So I went through a little birthday thing first, and then like I see this appreciated fellas, and then I see this on the news, and uh, kind of like you, Doctor, I was like, all right, we, we we put our life on the line so people can, you know, what I mean, voice their opinion. However. Mm -hmm. For me, I cannot differentiate the response. You should be able to do this, but at least we not forget what happened when the BLM movement right. was in town. Right. It right. was a very different response. And yeah. to your point, uh, when you look at what they, they breached, where you got the Pentagon and all these critical components there, and you're telling me, that you can't make a response right. that secure that and man, ain't no way in the world you can tell me <laughs> we didn't have a better job of an outer cordon, an inner cordon, you got barriers up, I see literally <laughs> officers having conversations with them and essentially like come on in and then of course you see the ones that go through the window but like how does somebody sit in the, pre excuse me, let me and number 45's chair, because he will not get that other word from me, and sit in there as long as he did without any uh, folk getting in there and apprehending him. And then how long did it take them to be able to contain those guys that did that? I'm actually sickened by this. You know what? I'm not surprised. This, me, this is... This is white privilege at its best. At its best. If anybody best. ever wanted to know what white privilege looked like, Wednesday showed you that. Yeah. All right? So, Kelly, I turned 50 Wednesday. I mean, Tuesday, the 5th. January 5th is my birthday. Oh, that's crazy. That's so crazy. Capricorn birthday. Happy birthday, bro. <laughs> exactly. But um, I'm watching this, and one, I don't know how anybody can be surprised. Um what I was surprised at, though, was this was, like, announced, like, on Facebook, on all these social media platforms. People were telling you what they were doing and what they were planning on doing. Yep. Right? So, for me, it's a coordinated effort. The president gaslighted these people. He sold them a lie. They believed it. And you know what I'm saying is you tell a lie often enough, people start to believe it. So, this lie has been out there since before the election. He told you what he was going to do. Like, if I don't win, this election is fraudulent, right? So he followed through on that. It's coordinated because where was the response? Like, where was, like, like once again, you mentioned this summer, like, the military presence, the police presence, right? Where was that presence? They knew what was going to happen, right? You see people on the news, you see police officers escorting people down the steps, like, basically opening the doors, you know, taking selfies with them. 
Like, this is America. Like, that's what I kept, that's, you know what, that's what kept going in my head. This is America. That, that's, this is America. And that's, that's like, Malik, you're making my point because you're, you're all saying it like, you know, we are told that they monitor cell phones and word traffic. There's algorithms between the NSA, right? Between all the cyber data. So you cannot tell me all through social media, they have all these cyber words that pop out, right? So there, it must be like an NFL scoreboard. Things just ripping off. And, and, and everyone in cyber village or cyber technology that works for the government must have been like, you see this? And they're like, yep. So, like, do we tell someone? Oh, they know. I mean, we we cannot be fooled to think that this was just 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 exploded. And no one no one was going to know. That doesn't seem right, right, Kelly? This isn't something. Didn't, something didn't feel right. Like when they were busting through, something didn't feel right. Mm-hmm. It just felt like okay. I can see one person getting through, or two people, no mm. gunshots, no response. Yeah. What's okay? Something seems staged. Something yeah. seems <laughs> staged. That's <all. laughs> okay. Hey, Doggy, what? And Kevin, we we the military. I mean, you know, you take orders from the high echelons. If they say don't engage, right. You don't engage. Right. And that was my thought process when all this was going down. Right. Everything don't engage. There's a standing order. It, it, it was a standing order across the board because I don't know if you guys saw the brother running by upstairs. With the baton. Tell people to get back. He got, a, he got a firearm on his side and he's retreating. Get back, get back, get back. And I'm like, okay, you know, this, this right here, don't engage order has already been given to these people. Or are they all just that afraid of them losing their jobs? Because it, what happens of when they do engage, mm-hmm. but that only happens when it's black people. <laughs> you you can engage when it's black black skin, and you'll just get slapped on the wrist and get a, a you know put on leave. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And vacation, so, vacation. It, <laughs> so, so, Re- so Reggie, let me ask you this: When you talk to your boys, how is this explained? How, because, because when we talk, when we mentor to our young black boys, black mm-hmm. and brown boys, how do we explain the United States now? Well, thank you, brother. In, in fact, uh, great analysis from the uh, previous brothers too. Uh, we put it in context. We look for contextual. Um, knowledge and information and this uh, for us, we had a great discussion Wednesday night, we happened to be meeting every Wednesday from 6 to 8 so it was very timely and we were looking at uh, America's words we were looking at what America says mm-hmm. It's um, and you know they say that we are a beacon of hope we are the or a, a light on the hill, we are a nation of democracy we're the nation of laws so we saw just utter hypocrisy right utter hypocrisy and and so we went further on on brother malcolm's chickens coming home to roost Mm -hmm. and so to think that you can go all around the globe all around the world erect bases and then um overthrow democratically sovereign nations mm. and remove their 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 leaders and to think that this won't be visited upon your own steps is um is asinine so it is um uh brother malik pointed out I, again it was i was not at all surprised in fact um many of us in fact i'm sure you brothers too when when he was first elected we knew what the outcome, we knew that was, this day was going to come. Many of us said we were going to grab some popcorn and a glass of grapes and we're going to just, mm-hmm. hey, we're going to sit on the sideline and we're going to watch this thing unfold. And so um, we anticipated this. And so we tried to encourage and to inculcate in our young men the necessity to undergird themselves, to be ready to make sure that 
They have um, stored food and, and resources. Uh, and while this may not be our specific uh, campaign, it, it will have fallout and will have impact on us. So we must be ready. We must continue to engage, uh, engage their minds and their spirits. Mm -hmm. And uh, we must continue to learn and strategize as, as well as learning uh, tactics. And so um, this is uh, was 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 no surprise. And um, I will say this, and I and I and I hear you all implying it to an extent that this was more than just forty five. I mean, there was a coordinated effort here, mm. it seems. And I noticed that the uh, the chief who was over the um, the Capitol police has resigned and in addition, but he should have been fired and not allowed to resign. <laughs> he should have been fired and charges brought up on him. He and the Sergeant of arms and, and those others that may be complicit because you can't just take selfies and stand aside and allow uh, this kind of thing to go on. So um, you, it was an, inc it was an incredible, I, d d d d the, the very thought of what's happened to us in the last year, the last five years has been an incredible, incredible. piece of history to live through. That's, that, that's my point. We are, I actually believe we, my, I'm writing a piece called the new birth. Mm. I actually believe we're in a new birth of democracy. We're Ooh. in and you said it, 2021, this may be the new dawning, and I know it's painful. When you go through a birth, right, childbirth has pain involved to this canal, to this exchange to one to the other. And I really believe we're in this paradigm birth. And if we don't take hold as people, black people, brown, however... I really think we have to prepare, like you say, Reggie. I think we have to be preparational on all four levels of life, as in mental, spiritually, soulfully, right, emotionally. And I actually believe, and I say it all the time, if you're not emotionally equipped, you better go get help, go ask somebody, go have somebody check you out. If you don't know how to self-defense, whether it be the hands, whether it be the, 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 the weapon, all this has to be in place because this lets you know, like Malik said, the whole brain of democracy was right there. Vice President, I was waiting for the thing to blow because mm -hmm. when they came back in order, they had to come back and, and finish the vote, right? That's a perfect time to blow it all up. Because... So and you got to remember the the brothers and sisters who are probably not even making a livable wage, right. who came back in there and clean all that crap up yep. so they can go back in there. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. You know, so they clean that up. Yeah. So let me ask: Is this the beginning of something or the end of something? Beginning, beginning. Yeah. Okay. So you think it's gonna get worse? Oh yeah. And hey, let me say this real quick. Throw this out here. <laughs> How does, and, and again, I'm like everybody, we, we knew this event was going to happen. The problem I have is any element that was as big as that mob was. Right. But remember, they was untrained. Right. Hmm, they but, were not moving quick. They wasn't strategic. No. And they wasn't tactical. No. Like, it was embarrassing how they was able to infiltrate I wouldn't even say infiltrate because it was essentially the door was open. But um, when you look at that, my question, and this goes beyond the United States now. Yep. If I'm a foreign country and I see this, like, I, I'm, I'm going to try you because... I would have to try you. Yeah. yeah. Well, well the, the only thing, though, is I would say to that is that many of them are trained to when it comes to use of force and policing and all this other stuff, they're conditioned to use the use of force with black bodies. Right. Mm -hmm. These were white bodies. Mm -hmm. And so, um, but I do think that, and again, I'm certainly not military like you brothers, but I think there were some tactics there because there are some tactical um, uh, references there where I saw the people that was on the outside, of course, that was doing the selfies and that was guarding the outside. 
while others were inside and they were yeah. strategically being led to different offices and different places. So, you know, you had the, the group, you know, who was watching their rear, who was watching them while they were inside and covering for them. So I thought there were some tact, some tactical um, uh, uh, points there that I noted. Uh, yeah. I, I, and Ray, let me say this real quick. I'm sorry, Doc. Yeah. I was just going to say, when I say, uh, I, I was talking about military strategy because I, I did hear people saying stuff, mm -hmm. but when you look at their positioning and mm -hmm. What they were saying, mm. it wasn't like organized. It wasn't okay. even law enforcement strategy and tactics. Okay. Right? Okay. All right. Like you know, when we know when this is the other thing is is what what throws us off is you had all of Congress there. Mm. All it, now they said they had minimal people there, right? Of 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 force when you knew this was we knew the rally was coming. Right. And all of Congress is there. Mm -hmm. All of it. And the vice president is there. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't there have been more? You would think so. Think about this. Right? I, that's what I mean. The president, you have the vice president, the speaker of the House, the um, speaker of you know, the Senate. If they go down, that's the country. That's it. That's yeah. it. That's your brain there. Right. That's your brain. Brother McCarty, that's your brain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because if, if, if all that went up, United States goes on hold. I mean, completely. Stop. I mean, there's nothing else to do. I mean, I think there was a show. Help me out. There was a movie, show. This sounds like a sci-fi picture, but it was... Like Lone Survivor or something like that. That's Desert it. Survivor. That's what I'm... Yes. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yes. Lone Survivor, yeah. where the all of the capital... It, it all blew up, and there was one lone survivor. He became the president, blah, 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 and, and he has to get the country back in order. That was right. That was Wednesday. It could have happened Wednesday like that. Well, there was a president. He would have remained in uh, place. <laughs> he would have stayed right there. <laughs> you mean, is, yeah, see? Smart like a fox, huh? No right? doubt. No doubt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, from my pers from my perspective, uh, this was definitely an inside job. You know, um, uh, on the six, I don't know if you guys know, on the uh, around the Capitol, there's gates, there's black gates, and they were actually open on the six, mm -hmm. which they're normally closed. Right. Okay. So that just reminds me of the Pentagon when the the Pentagon was bombed down in two thousand one. How in the world? Did they bomb the Pentagon in 2001 when they had all that military protecting them? Would it happen to be off at that day? You know, well, so they're it, all at lunch. Exactly, <laughs> it happened to be right. It's just a coincidence, right? So it's just, it's just, uh, it definitely, it definitely was an inside job, you know, uh, and you know, it's definitely a, a divided conquer strategy, you know. Mm -hmm. If you look at our history. Okay, uh, through 